Hi everyone. Today I will show you how to do the 3D modeling in AutoCAD. And this tutorial is going to be very helpful for the beginners who just want to start uh, their AutoCAD 3D modeling. And we will model this simple drawing in AutoCAD 3D with the basic commands. So let's start. And this is AutoCAD 2024 and we are in AutoCAD 3D. Make sure you are in AutoCAD 3D. Double check here on the gearbox and click on AutoCAD 3D modeling. First we will create a rectangle here. And that's 16 to 40. We will zoom and extend here. And you saw here this is 40 and this is 60. The height is 20 mm. And now we will extrude this rectangle by 20 mm. You can click here on the top view and go to the southwest isometric view. Here click on this extrude button. Select the rectangle, enter and give the height 20. You can see this Y-frame to solid molding by clicking here conceptual and again you come back to 2D Y-frame now we will create uh, this portion it is 55 by 60 or height is 55 and the width is 50 so for that we have to again create a rectangle here uh, you select this one and give the width 16 to 15 and we will move this one in this end again we will extrude this rectangle enter and this time our height is 55 mm. And we will see in conceptual. You can see that we model the L shape. And now we will make this hole in this portion and we will cut this portion. So here we have to create a line here in the center first. Click perpendicular. Now, let's say I want to create a circle, but circle is on that direction. But we want to put circle on that side. So we have to change the UCS. You have to select this one. You can, or you can click on view here select this one you can see you see it's automatically change to that direction now we will draw a circle here see now our circle is coming perfectly and diameter of the circle is 20 so we will give 20 and we have to make here also one circle that is dia 10 for that again we have to change UCS you have to click on click here and we will come back to the original UCS now create a line here and this is the UCS word when you will come back now we will create a circle here and diameter is 10. Now we will extrude these two circles. Click on extrude. And give the height on that side is 15.
and we will extrude this circle also click on extrude or you can simply drag this one also below now we will subtract to make the hole for that we have to click here solid subtract select the main rectangle enter and select the cylinder which you want to extrude now you can see here the hole is created here you can rotate from the orbit and you can see here same way we will do it here click on subtract select this geometry and select the cylinder so in this way we make both the holes here and now we will make it single one by combine combining so for that combining we have to use union command and click here on union select this one and this one then enter you can see now it is a single piece now here so we created this hole this hole and now we will create this chamfer as we know this is 45 so it is 15 and this is also 75 it is 15 by 15 and for that we have to uh, change the UCS again click on this symbol here and select the faces you select this face our UCS changed here now you make a single simple line command here and you type it 15 and same here type 15 if you're not comfortable with solid then come back to wireframe now i already make this 50 and this 50 and now we have to make a single line entity to extrude this one so how we can do that click on modify and here is and draw click on region and select this tree enter now it is a single one now click on extrude select this one enter and extrude that side we will see in solid now again click on subtract select this one enter this one enter you can see here you can rotate this one and now we will make a this cutout it is 40 by 10 height so let's do that you can change the view as per your own requirement let's say you want to make it a, a front view and this is the front view you can change to 2d wireframe also so we will give isometric here now we will get a line here and here we will draw a line 20 and we will make it 10 now this is 40 here and this one you can create a rectangle also but I am showing the simplest way how we can do that now again we have to go to draw and click on region select 
these lines to make a single entity you can see here now it is a single entity again click on extrude select this one enter we will see in solid modeling now again we will do the subtraction click on subtract select object and this object now you can see that we perfectly uh, model isometric view into AutoCAD 3D. Now, if you see an isometric view here, or you click on move here and move it here, deleted unnecessary lines here and click on it is the same view as per the drawing you can change the color as per your own requirement click this one click on yellow here you can change to realistic here so the smoothness will be changed This is a hidden view, what we saw in the drawing here, same as it is. In next tutorial, I will show you how to do dimensioning of isometric view to get 3D.